What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Today, I have joined the Blind Eye Society because I wish to forget a lot of the things that we are about to watch. I am sure that Gravity Falls is going to escalate uh, going forward now that we know that Ford exists. I don't know how this series is going to continue, to be honest, because, of course, um, that, that is a very big lore piece, but like, now, now, what's next, right? It's like, one big question has been answered, the portal has been opened, so what next? And I have theorized, as you guys have seen in these previous reactions, that it's going to be something to do with Bill Cipher. I think Bill Cipher is going to be coming back in, um, I guess, like, in, in one of these episodes or in uh, a future episode. And I think that he is... He, he's going to be a, a danger to everything as we know it because we have been teased an apocalypse by many characters and by Journal 3 itself. So I am excited to see what these re the rest of this series is going to bring us. There is a few things that I need to mention before we get into this reaction. So first of all, you're probably wondering what is the structure for the rest of these episodes for the rest of these reactions? Obviously, it's Halloween soon. It's spook. It's the end of spooky month. Halloween is on the 31st of October, Thursday. That is next Thursday. So here is my proposed structure for the rest of the series. It is going to end Thursday, 31st of October. Uh, the premiere will be up. It will be at 10 p.m. British time. I think that's 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'll put up a different time on the bottom of the screen right now if I've got that wrong, but it will be at the usual time for premieres and members will uh, will be there to watch along as well because you will get the full length reaction at the same time. So I urge members to come to the premiere and to watch it with everybody else. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the series. So we're going to have today's episode, which is only two episodes and then uh, on Tuesday, we're going to have all three episodes that are remaining before the three or four part finale. Right, now that we've done that, obviously I talked about members. One dollar a month, you can see my full uncut reactions to Gravity Falls. They're all up there and they all come early except for the last episode, of course. All right, I think that's everything that I need to talk about. Whew, I hope that you like what I'm wearing right now. Um, I put this here because most of my brain is FNAF. Uh, I would put more stuff around, like some cool Easter eggs or something, but um, I, I'm i not like a makeup artist or anything and I can't write that small. Anyway, <laughs> let's get in to the next reaction episode thing. Uh, this is going to be episode number 13 of season two, I believe. So let's have a watch. It's nice to finally have a day where nothing interesting happens what so Yeah. <laughs> You've jinxed it now. Oh my god! Ah! Everyone get down! Don't let it taste human flesh! <laughs> kill it! Kill it! Ah! Oh Ford is so cool. He's so cool. Wow. They know how no. I'm sorry, Dipper. On the dark, weird road I travel, I'm afraid you cannot follow. Well, call me for dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's just going to reside in the basement, is he? Come on, quack with us, Dipper. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. <laughs> oh, Mabel, I love you. It's really interesting that this intro was shortened for like two episodes. And then when the tale of two stands came out, it was the full length intro. It, it's really weird that they did that. I guess those two episodes, they wanted to fit more in, but still be, still have ads and stuff. But yeah. Dear mom and dad. We've been in Gravity Falls for a few months and so much has happened. 
Just yesterday, gravity reversed itself, almost destroying the universe. <laughs> <laughs> but the coolest part of the summer was when Grunkle Stan's twin brother came out of this portal thingy. Oh no, don't send that to your mum and dad. <laughs> Surely, surely they would know though, right? Mabel! <laughs> dungeons, dungeons, and more dungeons! Dungeons, dungeons, and more dungeons. I do like unicorns. Ballway Games, by the way. That was in... The rules are simple. First, you roll a 38-sided die to determine the level of each player's statistical analysis power orb. The never-ending whole episode. Sorry. And then we ride unicorns? Yes! <gasps> and no. First, we make a graph. <laughs> a graph. Homework the game. Come on, Mabel. I need at least two people to play. Homework the game like homework the candy. That's so funny. Let's go and priestess go, elf mage. Never, paladin radmaster. Fireball. 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 <laughs> I'm a fortress. <laughs> 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 and this is sad. Maybe I should start obsessing over Wendy again. Uh, hey, give it back! Come on, Gompers, let go! Uh, His oh, name man, is Gompers? Oh. Wait. What? There's definitely like a secret code there or something. I'll have to check. Oh. Oh, we're in the bunker again. Wait, is that a 38-sided die from Dungeons, Dungeons, and more Dungeons? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so they're going to get on. Shield and sword, our, our quest, quest shall, shall be our sweet reward. reward. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite game in the whole multiverse. Multiverse? Ooh. We must stop everything I've been working on at once. And play! <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> oh, I love him. An illusion cast by Probabilitor the Annoying. Probabilitor. He's got like pie and stuff on. Man, this game is boring. You dare challenge Probabilitism? <laughs> cool. Diggity dungeons and all that. Diggity dungeons. Oh, it's so stylish. But I can show you a little something I brought back with me. An infinity sided die. Whoa. That's so cool. That is cool. These things are outlawed in 9,000 dimensions. You want to know why? Look at those symbols. Infinite sides means infinite outcomes. <laughs> That's why I have to keep it in this protective cheap plastic case. Now, back to the game. You've got Probabilitor on the ropes. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, you should not have shown. Why did you show that to Dipper? Ah. Oh. Are you gonna go to sleep? You've been saying dork words for hours. <laughs> Sorry, Mabel, I gotta finish this dungeon. It's gonna totally stomp Great Uncle Four tomorrow. I can't wait to see the look on his face. You're uh, spending a lot of time with old Boardsy lately, huh? You have no idea. I knew the author must be cool, but he's better than I imagined. And he doesn't make fun of me all the time the way you and Grunkle Stan do. Give him time. <laughs> hey oh! <laughs> hey oh! Oh, Mabel's worried that they're going to turn into Ford and Stan. It's really saddening to see. <gasps> ah! Graph paper! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Listen, Stanley, did it ever occur to you that if you joined us, you might actually have fun? What? Now you listen to me! As long as I live, I will never... Uncle Stan, wait! Ever! Stanley! Play your smarty pants nerd game! No! Uh oh. Mortal. If it's infinity sided though, it's not discrete, so it's not gonna give you a oh whatever. Your math is no 
match for my gun, you idiot! Math race! <laughs> yes! Math! <laughs> I should have written math right here. Cool, okay. <laughs> Bro's using a chair. Hey, look, listen. <laughs> it's Navi. Ye must complete seven unworldly quests, each more difficult than the now. <laughs> oh, Grenda. My ears! They're so pointy! There better be something protective under this tunic. Oh, no, there isn't! <laughs> we oh, just, boy. Like, arm wrestle or something? Come on, this game was a lot of fun. I had my mom pack me a lunch. Ew, apple slices. I'll eat you last. Oh my god. The game is a battle royale. Battle royale? <laughs> it's Fortnite. This game involves math, but also risk and imagination. Risk? Imagination? <laughs> I cast Google Time Bouncy Boots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This reminds me of Dreamscapers a little bit. Where they where they can do whatever they desire. I cast Centaur Tar! Yeah! <laughs> what? I am so confused and so proud right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is great. The animation, as always, is excellent. I saw it. Hey! Oh, sorry, nerd wizard. All your smarts are no match for dumb luck. I cast death muffins. <laughs> death muffins. <laughs> What are the odds? I see. I was gonna say, that was just a big coincidence. You had a twin brother all along? That's the big twist we were waiting for? What a rip -off! I predicted that like a year ago. <laughs> I knew that was gonna, that was gonna happen. This will be here if you ever need it. Yeah, this is like, it's a big power out of this show, it's funny. The whole game playing mess? Now nah, we both got carried away. I guess we've both gone for a while without a friend. Aww. The instability of the machine created this. An interdimensional rift. I've contained it for now, but it's incredibly dangerous. Dipper, I don't want you to tell anyone about this. Not Stan, not even your sister. You understand? Oh, uh, of course. In my time, I've made many powerful enemies, but I trust you with this secret. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh. Do you ever think maybe we're doing this because our lives aren't special enough? That we use fantasy as an escape to avoid the self-improvement we all need? That maybe we should just go out and grow as people? Fortresses can't speak, darling. I'm a fortress! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, that was that was a good episode. Um, not one of the greatest, I don't think. Um, but I loved the style of it. And I love um, that, that they're going back to sort of like the regular format where it's, it's not very lore-heavy. But now Ford is around so they can make more jokes and, and there's a new character to play with. Um, I like that. So I'm assuming there's th these few episodes leading up to the grand finale are going to be like that. Um, which is fine. Which is fine. It's nice to have a mix so that it's not just always lore dump. Um, okay. Let's have a look at some of the codes and stuff in here. Because I did see a few that were dotted around the episode itself. We also need to find the key. And... Yeah, uh, let's do that. So, first things first, let's take this. This last screen. Let me see. There it is. Okay. 
Uh, first of all, what do we see here? Because um, this is the um, infinity dice, or the infinity die, or whatever. Um, I just see a lot of numbers. There's the infinity, of course. There's cherries. Uh, there's a smiley face there. That's the time, the TVA logo in this universe. Uh, or multiverse, I guess, maybe even. Uh, there's four in no Roman numerals. There's an F. There's a dollar sign, a plus U7. Diamond. A. There's nothing like big lore or anything, but um, that's cool. Uh, it's it's a really cool design for a dice or like an item in the show. I like that. Okay, so let's take the screenshot and return to my Photoshop document, which has helped me more than I could have ever known. And I think that goes there. Uh, that looks right to me. I would say. Uh, does it? No, no, that that is not right. Never mind. Forget what I said. I think it goes there, because this is like the opposite of that. Yeah. So that's definitely right. Uh, and then oh yeah, you can even see like the the stains, the stains here kind of lines up. It goes around and it goes back down. So I think that is in the correct place. I still think this is making Grunkle Stan and Grunkle Ford. Um, so yeah, that, that is quite cool. Time to look um, relatively briefly for the key. I don't want to go through for too long. Uh, but and, and the thing with these last few reaction videos is I'm not going to go too in depth into the episodes because I'm going to save that for the season two lore hunt video. That I'm going to do which is going to be several hours long just like the season one one and that's going to be like our, our last like look over the the tv show of gravity falls and then we're going to dive into the books and and other content and stuff like that so that's going to be uh, a lot of fun i did mention ballway games um and i struggled to find my words during the episode for some reason but ballway games in the bottomless pit episode was the company that created that pinball machine. I'm going to see if I can pull it up. Here, right here. Uh, do we have... Where is it? I swear it's here. Uh, I at least recognize it, right? I think the skull says, like, I was created by Boy Games. There we go. I saw it. There you go. Boy Games. So that is the same company there. They're based in Redmond, Washington. So there you go. Boy Games. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no law implication there, really, but that's just a cool continuity thing, I guess. Um, I like it when, when shows kind of keep with the same sort of, like, games companies and drink companies and stuff like that. They, they It's all made up, but, like, they they continue with it through the series. It, it really helps with... Um, the continuity of things and to show that it's all in the same world i guess um okay let's have a look so they're laughing obviously which is really funny <laughs> i never thought i'd see that but there you go and then so i would assume the key is like somewhere down here or like in the forest area when we were in the forest i think it's probably in the forest area this is a cool book page though Suction marks. Okay, so that's cool. That's like a foreshadowing of what will happen later to Grandcore Ford. Uh, suction cups. So this is a cyclop cy cycloptopus. That's cool. Uh, eye to mouth transformation. Oh, we're getting a little bit of terraria up in here. Uh, <laughs> I hope you get that reference. So then I am looking at what is this guy called? Probabilitor or something? Uh, we have an alpha symbol, small alpha, and then we have a small delta, and then a percentage, and then, I don't know that moon, I, I think that's just a made-up symbol. We have a uh, a sigma, a capital sigma, golden ratio phi, and then pi, and then an x. So that's cool. I think that's actually, that could be chai as well, which is another Greek letter. Um, but it's it's very mathsy. So, of course, I enjoyed the episode because it had math in it. Who'd have thought? Okay, this is what I'm um, I'm interested in. So, we, we see, like, a lot of different words that are specifically 
specifically written in this episode. Like a lot of a lot here is like it's just, it's just like a line to show that there's writing here. But these these three are specifically shown to us, so it, they must mean something. I'm thinking maybe they could be a character names or like place names potentially, or they are some sort of cipher. So let's have a look. So Gorbash, Gorbash. Actually, I don't know. I I feel like they could be just names for things, but let's have a look just in case. Uh, yeah, I think they're probably just names of places. Smergol, Smer, Smergol. Yeah, okay. So th I don't think it's anything special there, which is a shame, but there's been plenty of code, so I can't, um, <laughs> I can't be sad. Um, where is the key? That's just, that's the question. Okay, guys, I actually looked it up and that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, so it's in the scene that we were just in, actually. Um, which is funny because I was in that scene, I was looking deep in it and I didn't see it. So it's like, it's it's crazy how hard these clues are to spot. But remember that this is a show that a whole community was watching and a whole community was working together to find all the clues and codes and stuff. And also people got these co like these clues literally 10 minutes after the show premiered. So it's, it is crazy um, how, how big into this people are. But I, I, I'm kind of tired of like going through episodes frame by frame. So I am just deciding to kind of look it up if I can't find it initially, and then we'll go from there. But the key is right here. It says Radmaster. So that is going to be the key. By the way, I feel like now is a good time to say, um, I, I get a lot of people in my comments saying, wow, you have such a good memory. And it's like, yeah, because because like I'm, I'm, I'm remembering at, at the moment, like, what what sort of things happened in the past like the the games company that we were talking about before uh i i do i do remember that from the bottomless pit episode and i i know that some people in the comments are going to be like how did you remember that it is it is actually because i've been re-watching the show quite a bit um not only have i had to watch it once to do my reaction series i've also had to watch it in the edit a few times and I've watched it on, on upload a few times. And I also just like, while, while I'm sat at home doing study work and stuff like that, I am actively having it, like watching it on the side as well. So like, I, I know the series pretty well inside and out um, right from the beginning. I may not know absolutely everything about the series and that's why I'm gonna get some people to talk to me at, once I finish with the series. But, like, I, I have a pretty good idea of everything that's happened so far. And uh, there may be a few things that I've missed, but I actually do now know them because I've rewatched and I've caught it. Um, but we'll go through all of that and stuff in the Season 2 Lore Hunt. Uh, this says, Excel, see whatever. Excel, see whatever. Yeah, okay. So that's like a spell, right? Like, Excelsior or something. I think that's a Harry Potter thing or it's a Dungeons and Dragons thing. I don't know, I'm not into either of the of those franchises, but yeah, I think that's just like a spell. So that's cool, Excel, see whatever. <laughs> um, okay, and then the other thing that we need to do, of course, is the combo, the combo, um, the, the freaking, the, the numbers. We need to do the numbers. Okay, I think I have got it. It says, fun and games are great distractions, but small things can have chain reactions. <laughs> That's so, so good. I love that. That is talking essentially about the butterfly effect. Like if you change one small thing, then it can have a big, uh, re like, Basically, in the present, you, you you have a lot of choices to make at any given point, and any of those choices can branch out into a completely different... Like, if I make a drink right now, maybe that will mean uh, 
the earth explodes in 10 years or something <laughs> like like small things have have chain reactions and of course there are so many different outcomes um and so that's like the butterfly effect where like any any choice that you make right now has a lasting effect uh in theory um anyway that was that was really cool uh i liked that that code a lot Fun and games are great distractions, but small things can have chain reactions. So I guess that's just talking about, um, like, we, we've just kind of messed with, with space-time a little bit there. And, of course, the rift as well that we, we now have in a jar. Um, that, if that's ever let out or if they're going to mess with that in some way, then that is going to have a big chain reaction. And that is where I think the series is going. <laughs> I think something is going to happen to that jar. Anyway, I think it's about time for episode number 14. I don't know what it's called because I'm not looking at the names. <laughs> I've made that joke way too many times now. Okay, let's go. Oh, what is that? We did something to carry milk in, so I used your slippers. Love, Mabel. <laughs> Dear Stan, I took these to build a planetarium suit for Seuss. Sorry, Dipper. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Whoa, let's not take this line. There's an old person in it. Psh. Yeah, he's probably going to pay with like pennies and Warbot. I love how they're still together. Information. I was gonna shoplift most of this. Security. Ha! What? Bomb. It's expired. <laughs> the one time the smoke bomb doesn't work. That's so funny. But it's all gonna be worth it when I fix that light bulb. And oh my god. Oh. Right. Does anyone see this? This is what a hero looks like right here. I thought we were out of light bulbs. Oh, we were. So I invented my own. It will last a thousand years, and the light it emits makes your skin softer. Oh. <laughs> Mayor Eustace Huckabone Befuftelfumter was best known for raising the water tower. The Jungle Book. Starting World War One and putting town menace Gideon Gleeful behind bars. Hey, Gideon. The one time I'm happy to see him. Already being carved in the deceased mayor's honor. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. It's just been so long since we've had real news. I'm just so happy. <laughs> New mayor, huh? He's gonna... Yeah. Be. I knew. I knew it. He's gonna want to become mayor. Okay. Oh, it's the short version. Okay. According to the town charter... A worthy candidate is defined as anyone who can cast a shadow, count to ten, and throw their hat into the provided ring. Well, now I do believe I fulfill all the rules. Oh. oh, he's gonna let he's gonna let Gideon out. <clears throat> Maybe. Are you still in contact with little Gideon? That's a great question. I'm giving you fifty percent off a used car. Fifty percent. In fact, everyone, look under your seats. You get half off a used car. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everyone in this town is a tad strange. Except, ironically, tad strange. Hi, guys. Tad's the name, and being normal's my game. Loving you, Tad. And I love bread. What? <laughs> that was tad strange. <gasps> Hold it right there, bud. I'm taking you on. He's literally throwing his hat in the ring. Well, your face is more fat than not fat. <gasps> oh, snap. <laughs> election! 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 <laughs> Let the madness begin! <laughs> what is Pro doing? I know Stan isn't the best candidate. Heck, he's committing voter fraud right now. Of course he is. Oh my god. At the end, they release a freedom eagle who will fly to the candidate covered in more seed and bestow a birdly kiss upon him, anointing him mayor. I see. I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. That makes so much sense. Why is there a burger phone? <laughs> Mouth, don't I? 
Okay, you're on with the candidate. Oh my god, Mabel's outfit is amazing. What would you do to help educate our kids? <laughs> Simple. Put them on an island and make them fight for dominance. Also teach kids swears. That'll bring them into the real world. <laughs> Your approval rating started at zero. Now it's a number lower than zero. Oh my You're god. Fast and none of them are good. <laughs> One does not simply teach kids squ swears. Squares? It's a shame there isn't some device that would allow you to control someone else. Oh, wait, of course, yes, there is. A long time ago, I designed a prototype for Ronald Reagan's masters. Just get Stan to wear this, and you can make him a literal talking head. Oh my god. And ethically ambiguous. As long as you wear the matching one. Ethically ambiguous. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm a dancing dude. I got some fancy moves and a bad attitude. <laughs> yes. Mind control is awesome. That's so oh weird. My, my life just flashed before my eyes. Oh. Oh. Get him. Prosperity. Get him. A gravity falls we can be proud of. Get him. <laughs> Not have a pretty face, but if you want a candidate that will listen to you, well, I'm proud to be all ears. <laughs> That's great. You break it down. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I need to speak with my campaign manager. Please excuse me for a moment. What's he working on? That's my question. Minor setback, but we'll win. Is it to I'm do sure. with Lil Gideon? Minor setback. Minor setback. Oh. Prison is a nightmare. I eat the same slop every day. They have no hair products in here. <laughs> but but you don't understand. He's doing great in the polls. It's almost like magic. Mm. Magic, you say. Oh no. Time we fight fire with fire. I've been saving this for a long time. Waiting for the right moment. Possession incantation? Oh, spooky spells. Well, Daddy, maybe you just need to have more of an open mind. Just stop listening to him. He's he's evil. Boy, not that. Anything but that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is looking good. He's matching with his hat. Stanford, a okay. A okay. With or without your dumb advice. Dumb advice? Yeah, dumb advice. Dang it, Stan! Every one of those speeches, we were controlling you. Timber. What? I'm gonna win this debate on my own without any of you. Stan, wait! You can't. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't a very smart move. Oh, but I have a widow twerk up my sweetie weaves. You're making me very uncomfortable right now. But what's so that's Gideon in there, is what it? New candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about taxes, but I can promise you a kitten in every pot. That doesn't make sense, Mabel. You don't make sense, Dipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there ain't gonna be no crime. Crime's bad. Put bud. You may now throw your bird seed. What the hell did I just watch? What? I'm voting Tyler, man. You gotta get him. <laughs> that is why um, the Statue of Liberty is our hottest landmark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dying out there. So he's gonna win, and then Gideon is gonna be let out, and then that's gonna cause more chaos. Oh boy. Kids! <gasps> Listen, everybody, this debate is over. I gotta go save my family. Those, oh, those are just some demolition dummies. Nothing to see here. Can it, Gleeful? <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Stan Pines has run to. Oh, Stanley! Oh boy! Go 
Just being the town's hero wasn't enough. I wanted to be yours too. We're sorry, Uncle Sam. He is so sick, by the way. Uh oh, who's it gonna choose? Oh, Dipper. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so Gr Grunkle Stan is the president now? <laughs> what the hell? Mayor Pines! Mayor Pines! Mayor Pines? Well, guess we know who. I didn't see that coming, to be honest. This just in. Stanford Pines loses. <laughs> what? Despite winning an overwhelming 95% of the vote, election officials had to disqualify him due to discovery of an extensive criminal record. Oh boy. Uh. What didn't I do? Crimes yeah. include shoplifting, teaching bears to drive. Teaching bears to drive? Local enthusiasm enthusiast, Tyler Cuthbaker. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that, guys. <laughs> Got it. Ow. Listing stands crimes. First degree thermometer theft. Pug trafficking. Pug trafficking? <laughs> it's not official, but I think it Aww. is. At least Bud wasn't promoted to president or whatever. Fetty in my eye. Come on, kids. Want to go vandalize Mayor Tyler's mansion? Yay! Yay! Vandalism! Aww. Thing didn't work out for you, bro. But if it makes you feel any better, we're gonna throw a riot tonight. Does someone want to throw a riot? This poster is the only thing keeping me going. I'm finally ready to make a deal. Ah! <laughs> oh, I think I just spat everywhere. I might have to blur that. That was too, that was disgusting. Oh my god. No, I I just let me just redo that. Ah! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, that was a great ending to a really good episode actually. I really genuinely enjoyed that. Um you guys know I hate Gideon. But uh it is it is actually good to see him back. Uh, I I feel like that's one thing we've been missing this season. Um but it seems like he is coming back, and he is going to be coming back with Bill Cipher. Oh, that is so, so interesting. Okay. That was a really good episode, though. I genuinely- that was one of my favorite episodes, I think. I just really enjoyed it. Okay. Let me go through and see the codes, and then that'll be the end of the video. Now, first things first, I see an oddly familiar set of lines, I guess. Uh, I know exactly what this is. This is somebody's face, and it could be either of the twins, to be honest, but I think it's Grunkle Stan, and I think it goes here. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, look at this. So yeah, it's, it's clear this is going to be the eyes and the hair. And the fez. Okay, great. Oh, I am so... Ah, oh, I, I love this. I love this. And you can see the triangle is intersecting as well. So that's that's cool. That's working out just as we wanted it to. Okay, cool. Um, My question is like, I wonder if this will give us any other reveal, if you know what I mean. Like, I wonder if this triangle being behind them actually means something. If, we, if we're going to find out like Bill Cipher is... I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, maybe there's more to this than just a picture, but I really like that we're putting it together, and w I think we know what it is at this point, but it is really, really fun. I love it. So, let's see these numbers, and yeah. Okay, let me see. Be wary of whom you belittle. Something about whittle, uh... Big problems can start out whittle. Yeah, there you go. Be wary of whom you belittle. Big problems can start out whittle. I mean, that's that's kind of the same as the last one that we had, right? Where it's like small things can have big impact on later things. It's kind of following up on that, like, be wary of whom you belittle. Like, a small belittlement can lead to big problems. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, let me see if I can find the key for the episode.
Okay, once again, I managed to find nothing, essentially. So I have looked it up and it is, I, I can't tell if that's 75 work in it or if it's just work in it, but I'm, I'm assuming it's just work in it because that's how a visionaire works. It has to have letters and not numbers. So work in it. Okay, let's see. I have no idea what this is gonna be, but look at how long this word is. It's so long. <laughs> So it's going to be something, it's going to be just a bunch of, I don't know, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, because if you look at it closely, and this is something I've been actually working on in the background, is like, how do you, because obviously with like a Caesar cipher, you can really easily um, brute force it. Uh, and that's what I did in the first ever episode in the series. I brute forced the Caesar cipher. I I wrote out all 26 possibilities of what the cipher could be and then I found out that it was three letters back and that gives you that gives you your uh, answer. Um, but with a visionaire it's a lot harder because you can't get to the result unless you have the key. So how do you how do you brute force something like this? It's it's pretty ridiculously hard actually but here, I can see, I, I, have, I have noticed something, right? And, th and this is my experience of ciphers and um, decoding that has come out of the series. Uh, I'm seeing QVQ one, two, three times here, right? And then, I mean, so we have a Z and an S and a W, so W, Z, S. Yeah, so we have C, W, Z, S, QVQ, B, E W Z S Q B Q B E W Z S Q B Q M P H K D. Like there is some repetition going on here, which is telling me. That's telling me that. I think that's telling me that the key is eight letters long, because you have you have it repeat every eight letters. So that that actually tells me that the key is uh, either four letters long or eight letters long or I guess two letters long. Um, because it repeats every eight letters and that it is some sort of repetitive code. So this is going to give me an, an answer that repeats in some way, I think. That is what I've gotten from this. But let's have a look and see if that is actually the case. Uh, it's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Um, so it's... Get him! <laughs> That's the best one we've had yet. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, it, it's repetitive. I mean, it's it's a load of eyes, but you can kind of see because it's a load of eyes and because we're using the same key over and over again, you can see it's going to come out with the same. This is essentially like using a Caesar cipher where the key is I, basically. Um, you can see the repetitions because the letters are going to be the same. So really interesting stuff there. But yeah, get them. I love that. That's a great one to end off with. That's where I'm gonna end for today. We are two videos away from finishing this series. So make sure that you smash a like on this if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe so you can see when those other videos come out. And um, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will unsee you later. Goodbye.